Hi everyone, I'm Momita and today I'm going to channel Archangel Michael who's going to talk about the divine power aspect. Now, the divine power is simply the ability to take action but Michael is going to go much more deeper into it. I see in the spiritual communities a lot of people are talking about love and light but power is that missing piece of puzzle that nobody talks about because power has already been condemned in our society as evil. Those who are experiencing a lot of disharmony and relationship problem or if you get triggered by others very easily or if you feel very powerless and helpless in life, chances are high that you are not using your divine power aspect. Before I start channeling, if you want to ask a burning question to the beings I channel, then you can book a private session with me. The link to that is given in the description below. I hope you enjoy this transmission. We are Michael. And today we bring a new information that many of you have been denying and avoiding so far. So today we are going to talk about the divine power aspect for we are the representation of divine power. Now, what do we mean by the power aspect? Power in its truest sense means the ability to do something. Now, Every physical being has the ability to act in the physical realm to whatever ability they have or they can at that point of time. So that is power in the simple sense. However, if we expand upon this definition of power, you will understand that physical realm has its limitations because you as source decided to experience a specific aspect of source as physical beings. So source is all that is, meaning source contains everything and anything that exists, which means when source wants to experience itself, it cannot experience itself as a whole because that doesn't give it the idea of the minutiae, the individual aspects of it. The only way the source can experience a whole is when it experiences itself in parts, in its smaller forms individually and also in totality. That is why you and all the other forms of life exist because through each one of you, source is experiencing itself because everything originates from source. Now, when this happens, when you take birth in the physical realm, you choose to experience a specific aspect of source which means you are limiting yourself to fully focus and fully experience this aspect, this theme of life that you have chosen. Now, given that this is the theme that you have chosen and you have chosen to limit yourself to only focus on this theme and not everything, this creates an opportunity for you to experience things which are not exactly like you or in other words who are not experiencing or going through similar themes as you. They might be going through something completely opposite of you and hence by nature they might be completely different than who you are the way they think, the way they feel, the way they experience, the way they sense might be absolutely different than you. For no two human feel, feels things 
or experiences things in exactly the same way. There is always a difference because you are different beings. That's the whole point of of your existence so that you can experience a specific theme exclusively. So given this disparity of themes, as physical beings, you will experience disunity, separation, and a non-likeness with others because that is the whole point of experience of the physical realm. You experience who you are by experiencing who you are not. So the only way you can differentiate who you are and understand more about who you are is to experience the opposite of who you are. So in that sense, you would be creating situations in your life because you are the creator of your life and your reality. So you will be experiencing things which are not like you and some could be detrimental to who you are. The whole point of experiencing that is to help you realize what you prefer, thus knowing who you are. So this is where the divine power aspect comes into the picture. Now, when you are going through life, where you are experiencing things that you don't prefer, you have the power to create a different experience than the one that you are creating right now because once you realize that this is not what you would prefer you have the full freedom to act or in other words use your power to create a different kind of experience so the power aspect is the creation aspect of source you create Using power, you cannot create without power. Now, the problem with your world is people who have great ability to create have great ability or power. And in your society's power has been considered as evil because of how certain tyrannical people have abused their ability to act in a way that is not congruent or aligned with the masses. So now, in your spiritual ascension, you have totally given away your power, considering it as evil or a problem. Well, the problem is not with power. The problem is how you use your power to create what you prefer. So if you have truly awakened your divine love and your divine light aspect, your divine intelligence aspect, you will realize that during situations of discomfort, you have to act to create a situation that is in accordance or in alignment to who you are. And in order to do that, you may have to do things which are not congruent with everybody else's opinion. Now, the only way you can learn to love yourself and respect the source aspect within you is when you listen to your own needs and meet your own needs instead of trying to keep everyone happy. So the divine love aspect has been misunderstood and misutilized by a lot of people who do not have noble intentions. People who would like to manipulate you for their own gains would shame you, use shame as a tool to manipulate and control what you should be doing and what you should not be doing. This is so deeply ingrained in your society that it has become a normal behavior. But this is very toxic. So 
when you are using your power to move away from things that you do not prefer there will be many individuals who would point out to you saying that that is not right and this creates the paradox the dichotomy in you thinking what is the right thing to do have my own peace or to care for others now this is where your divine light or the divine wisdom aspect is called into action because if you show divine love and mercy when you are being manipulated and controlled you would be making grave mistake that would bring you more unhappiness so along with divine love you must exercise your divine wisdom and your divine power because these three are the holy trinity that creates the balance in you so during those times you must make a choice that is in alignment with your excitement your happiness you must use your power to draw boundaries to state what you prefer what you do not prefer and also in extreme situations where your boundaries are not respected you must state what consequences will follow if your boundaries are violated that use of action to follow through with the consequences is using your power to buy your peace so sometimes you may need to exert your power to get the peace you want because when you are exercising your power in drawing your boundaries and saying no to people to preserve your peace and your happiness it will upset many people but it will also give everybody the opportunity to decide who they are at that moment people who respect you and love you will not be afraid to accept your boundaries people who do not respect you will be offended by your boundaries and that in itself should tell you who are the right people for you this is a new lesson humanity must learn that in your physical limitation you must know what is acceptable to you as a human given your boundaries and given your physical limitations you must move towards what what is nourishing for you and your soul and move away from those things and people who hurt you and who do not respect you and the only way you can do so is by utilizing your power by saying no by giving ultimatums where your boundaries are not respected by simply severing ties if situation calls for it now this is something most of you are not willing to do because of your limiting beliefs around loneliness around what will happen if i severe ties with everybody i'll be lonely or how will people perceive me they will perceive me as a bad person or it could be any other excuses that you are buying into this ability to set your own power and exercise your own power will bring in front to all the things that are not in alignment with you which are still within you your past cultural programmings your limiting beliefs your past traumas which have taught you otherwise which has taught you to suppress your emotions and not be compassionate with yourself to deny yourself of pleasures and happiness and to only please others and keep peace with others instead of asserting what is right for you so time has come for you to embrace your true power 
to step into your true power and to use your power. Do not buy into ideas that do not allow you to use your power in a way that is nourishing and harmonious for you. Now remember, there are many nuances to power. Misusing power to harm others is what has brought a bad reputation to power because some people would do anything to get what they want without having any empathy for other beings. That is why it is important to open your heart centers to experience the divine love aspect before you wake up to your divine power aspect. For power without love is tyranny or dictatorship, whereas love without power is being a doormat, being mowed over, bending your back and having your boundaries violated. To feel powerless, to only give and get nothing in return. So, as spiritual beings, you need to have all the three aspects balanced. Your divine light, or which is also known as the divine intelligence or wisdom. To be alongside with divine love and mercy. And to also know when to use your divine power aspect. These three elements has to be balanced within you to not only experience positive effects in your life, but also live harmoniously with others.